welcome all, welcome back at I need help at C squared. In this uh, example, we will use logistic growth to model. And in fact, we're going to use what you will see a formula, a recursive formula like this one. And in this problem, we have a, a population of 40 deers that are introducing through, into a wild life sanctuary that can sustain 400 years. Okay, so without being having any constraint, the population will grow by 70% per year. Estimate the population after one year. And yeah, like I said, this is one way to solve this problem using this recursive formula. And for finding the population after one year, that n will be one. So this is part A. So we're going to have here P sub 1 equals P sub 0 plus. Now, the rate, it is 70%. So that will be 0 0.7 in a decimal form. Parentheses 1 minus P sub 0 over K, which is the uh, constraint, right, you see here, the cap, the, I'm sorry, the carrying capacity. Um, in this case, which is 400. This one. Times P0. Now, what is this P0? This P0 is the initial population. So I'm going to write this one more time. And I will replace P0, P sub 0, with 40. Of course, you could have done that. I could have done that at the beginning. But I want you to see how that recursive formula works. Okay, so uh, now we can take any type of calculator. Uh, I'm going to go slow here and I'm going to evaluate the parentheses, but if you have a good calculator, obviously you can do this in one step. So, uh, uh, these two cancel out, uh, 4 goes in 40 10 times, so we have 1 over 10, and 1 is 10 over 10, so we have here 10 over 10 uh, minus 1 over 10, that will be 9 over 10. If you want to use this uh, fraction as an approach times 40. Uh, again, you can simplify this 0 here. And we have 40 plus uh, 0 0.7. Um, and then we have 9 times 4, that is 36. So let me grab a calculator now and put this in the calculator, in fact. And like I said, depends on what calculator you have. You can do that from the beginning. 40 plus 0 0.7 times 36. I end up with 65.2. Okay, so that means after one year, we have 65 deers. Let's move to the second part, part B. Uh, where we have to find the estimation, we, we, we have to estimate the population after two years. So the formula is going to look very similar and is 2 now, and P sub 2 will be P sub 1 plus 0 0.7 times 1 minus P sub 1 over 400 times p sub 1. So very similar to the formula, the only difference instead of p sub 0, we use p sub 1. Uh, now here, you can use 65.2, you can use 65, let's use 65.2, even though probably it make more sense to use 65. Uh, 
and for sure here I'm going to use a calculator it's not that easy like the other one where you can do it without a calculator okay and like I said depends on your calculator you can put this in one step which I'm going to try it 65.2 plus 0 0.7 and then we times by that parentheses be sure you put it the correct way in your calculator I end up with 103 point four I think it makes more sense to say 103 years at the end of the second year. Uh, if you enjoy this uh, example, don't forget to click the like button and come back and see Square for more help. Thank you.